What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Aram on League of Legends. I am playing Karma and the team along with Ash, Jin, and a couple of others that I've gone blank, which is great. Right. So as it stands, Karma build uh, strong at the beginning for sure. The uh, RQ ability is a very strong ability to use, right? Yeah, like that. Look at that damage. Oh, there we go. First kill. So as I said, it, it happened. Zoe is the one that I miss. I'm not sure. No, that was that was Zoe's fake flash, right? Yeah, it was. So we're against a Hecrim. Uh, it looks like a buddy. We've got a flash in there from a. Uh, there's a lot going on all, all at the beginning. Everything's happening. Nobody knows why. Very over the top bit as we stand. Double kill for Jin straight off the bat. So he's going to get some damage down nicely. I'm going to max out Q because RQ combo is the way to go. I'm not sure what Zoe was doing there, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. GTFO. Right, so Jin is going to get another kill, no? Unfortunate. He will get the stun down now, I think. Hecrim's going balls deep a lot, so that means that we should get some easy kills. Remember, if you guys like playing Harems, uh, please do add me. Bottom left hand corner, you can see the new uh, name to use to add me as friends. You have to use the hashtag EUS as well, or it won't find them just using the new bar. The change that they've made. But yeah, let me know and we'll uh, get some games together. Again, most of the games I play will be put on YouTube. Uh, mostly the ones where something actually happens. I will post even the losses where there's been like quadruple enemies, even God no enemies. Just so you get to see that. That was terrible by the. Sin Zhao there. I think he thought he was going to get at least a kill for that, but obviously not. And we've got a rampage already. I do know how what her name is, by the way. I just refuse to try and say it. Let's just call her um, Q, because I ain't pronouncing them letters. I could abbreviate it to Quinn, but there is a Quinn, right? And that's the. the Champion, so, I'm not doing that, so, we'll just it. so Q is on a rampage. Hank's going in there and dying miserably. Now Jin is on a rampage. This is 4 and 13 to Urz. They're going to get salty if this continues. Jin with his ult. Likely going to get another kill now. No, I got it. Nicely done, and then all the all the air goes down as well. Jin going in immediately there, and Jin getting the kill, but so we taking out Sin Zhao. Ash spamming down the slows, and Hecrim's got nothing to do, aka horse. Right, so a bit of a reset here. Callista hiding at the tower, which I honestly don't blame her. That's going to land. Is he going to go in on that? Really, one v three? Nope. I mean, he could have done it's an Aram, right? Hecrim likely would have done. That is a good engage by Zoe and a good finish by her too. So they're not playing as aggressive now. I think they've established that it wasn't working. Although Hecrim has got a strong engage. There's also some salt coming in the chat. Anything that's... Um, not allowed by the policy of both the game and or YouTube will be blocked out because I will not post that. But it's too much hassle to try and just block all the chat, so I like to leave it there. But I will remove it if it's to be removed due to what people are saying. You don't really get many salty people in our rooms though, but Panky coming in now with his ult straight on to me and then a flash from Sinzao to I I was killed, but it wasn't by the flash. Good team fight coming in there, but a sleep coming down from Zoe. 
And I believe that was panting in the bush, which I can see there. Sinzao going in again. Panting getting the kill once again. Oh dear. That's probably why he's talking enemy team of crybaby hackers before. Right, okay. That's what's called in the world of gameplay as salt. When somebody gets a bit salty. Anyway. I did say it was going to happen right 2010. And it's now 2110. I think the tech room went in balls deep and got deleted. As did Buddy. Jin now coming for his ult. Covering the whole pattern. Ooh, that was close. Callista just got out there. So we try for a snowball to engage. Gets dropped on. Immediately gets annihilated. And Zhao is going to be even saltier after that. Ekrim coming back, but losing a lot of health straight away. Still in, and Ekrim goes in with his all, but immediately runs back behind his tower. Udi's going forward, but he's now stopped and sleeped and dead. This is going to be a frigging quick game if this continues. Realistically, for them to win now, they need to stop, reset, slow down, wait behind their tower. I would expect that you would have a bit. Something's gone again. Uh, Hecrim all onto a Pantheon all, and of course you've got Zin Zhao then to jump in straight away. His all will stop any in incoming projectiles, which is predominantly what they're losing by right the range that we have, um, and then they can follow up with anything else that they've got. Likely Callista. I mean, Callista could throw in Zin. I don't know who she's altered though, so that's hard to say. But here, lot you've got them going in. But, yeah, I mean, that was a little bit better. They had three engaged, but it wasn't with the tower, so it was the tower that did a lot of the damage there, not necessarily the engage, in my opinion. But somebody's hiding in the bush, right? We can see him. Zin Zhao is. He loses nearly a third of his health just from watching the engage. He's engaged now, popped his ult. But of course, all you have to do is wait the three seconds, whatever it is, for his ult to go, and he's dead again. Now we've got another one in stop ball going in, and this is a slam dunk. There's, there's not really much to say about this. Commentating over what's happening, I probably realistically could have actually spoke while played here, because, yeah, there's not really anything that can do. Jin is very low, but also has ridiculous range. Uh, that ability is passive where he stuns as long as someone's hit him. He's landing quite well as well. My health's not exactly right. Here we go. Got a flash in for Pantheon, used his ability. He did get it. I think that was from a collector. But he left with sort of a third of his health. Left. Hecrim going in with an ult. Missing. Followed by Pantheon also missing. And again, this is my opinion. The wrong way around. This should have gone the other way around. And on the same target. Seems they're playing their own game, not actually playing as a team. Which is why they get squished. Now, engage wise, mitigation, they have a lot. I mean, a Pantheon all in two, and then even if he's blissful, uh, but now you've got Jin that's allowed to pop his all without any engage available on him, because Hecrim's going to go on him, but I expect, yeah, he dies. Buddy followed shortly after, Zin Zhao followed last, and then Callista, unless she gets the rend, and she doesn't, so we taken out Callista, and that's the ace. Bit of health here, everybody's happy, on our team anyway, I'm only 2 to 29 but 29 shows that I am involved in the kill participation, um, the range is really doing most of the work as it should, and my build isn't really anything to warrant. I haven't completed one item yet. So 2600 gold, he's asleep again. This is this is the engaging that they're lacking, I think. I feel like Hecrim thinks he can go in and delete someone, which partially is true. But he needs to be able to get out because just going in and getting one and then dying is one for one and then it's a four for four. I don't think anybody wants that map, right? It's going on me, hoping to get the kill there. Is it going to be a knock? No, because it gets locked down and deleted by Q. Pantheon deletes Q. Again, this is probably the wars of the collectors, I guess. Um, not really well. That's a good, decent snowball, but even that follow-up. Buddy's got no damage, right? Not, not burst damage, anyway. 
Uh, he needs to be able to AA at least with some of the abilities. And the range coming from my team is just too much. Another snowball. Are they going to go on that? Hecarim is right in between two towers and is annihilated. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right, okay. <laughs> and then Q deleting since out there trying to delete me. Definitely some collectors going off. I can see the, uh, the, the white text print damage deleting true damage then popping. Um, Pantheon, that was a good time to use the ult, it kept him alive. Somebody's somebody's been salty again. Moving on. Hecarim is trying to go around the side there. There is three people that he could potentially delete, but he's gonna have to do a lot more to be able to get out. Pantheon coming in that's good. that's gonna take out at least two as it did, but then he's dead, and that was me that killed him. 500 gold buff bonus there. I'll take it. Zin is going to follow me, but he will die from that tower. You can see it. I'm getting a double kill. I'm going back. Shopping. I'm not even dead. This is... Yeah, I'm going to get a triple kill at this rate. Yeah, well, it wasn't a triple, but I'm sitting on 5k as well. So... Straight back to rinse and repeat. Keep the minions down. I could really do... I mean, you saw me chasing down there. I was quite happy to one-on-one -on -one to slow him down for Q to come. Even if I died, it's not the end of the world. I get to spend 5k, right? Again, I've finished no items. I'm 6-2 and 32. Now, that's not a con that's not a, a sort of a merit towards that. Was. Pantheon, Pantheon Flash stunned and collected me. It's fine. As I said, just spent 5k. Ludens Echo, Death Cap, first buy. I'll take it. And I don't imagine that they're going to be able to mitigate that damage now because they've been struggling when I had no items. So what we are at? 22.44. So exactly half in terms of team kills. 6-3 and 32 as me with 38 kill participation and 46. I'm not sure if that works out to be as best as okay. Hecarim trying a little sneaky there, but as you can see, nobody actually took any damage. Um, yeah, so that didn't work. Jin, Ash, which are like likely the squishiest players on the team, are just going in. Just chasing him down, going to get the kill. Locked down by Zoe's sleep ability, and this tower is getting minced too. So from what I can see at the minute, this is why they, yeah, why did they go uh, in one by one? I mean, I'll be honest, I didn't really see it while I was playing. This is probably why I'm not actually a high elo. While I was playing, I didn't really see the amount of going in solo that they did. But it's very clear that I mean, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> he scored a goal right through the, right through the champions with 100% health. I like to think that whenever I'm playing these sort of games and I'm playing champions like that or against champions like that, that I purposely block them abilities if someone's going to get killed. Unless obviously he's going to kill me too, right? It's just that. Yeah. There's not much we can say about this. It's going to be over. It's a brutal whitewash. Pantheon coming in for a last ditch attempt to kill someone, right, with his collector. It's not really putting any damage down there, so I'm not too worried about that either, and we shouldn't be. And I think on that note, we are going to call it, so thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome. Bottom left-hand corner, add me if you want to play along. Take care. Goodbye.